We're here at Chase Family Arena at the University of Hartford. There was a lot of excitement on this court for the Men's and Women's Basketball Championship presented by Newman Zone. We're going to give you the inside look from fans, spirit squads, and big wins. It's all here on AmericaEast.com. Check it out. Semi-final action from the Chase Family Arena got emotional, got intense, and got very, very loud. Four teams saw their seasons come to an end, while four more are one step closer to a conference title in the NCAA tournament. The top-seeded Boston University women met number five UMBC in the day's first semifinal. Michelle Karowski scored 25 points, including five three-pointers, as the Retrievers upset the Terriers 77-61 to move on. It's the second title game appearance for Phil Stern and the Retrievers, who won the crown back in 2007. Who would UMBC face for the championship? That question was answered no more than two hours later, when second-seeded Albany forced 22 Binghamton turnovers en route to a 58-50 win over the Bearcats. The Great Danes will host the America East title game this Saturday at 8 p.m. And you can catch all that action on ESPN3 from Seth Q Arena in Albany. The Albany men took the floor later in the afternoon against number one Stony Brook. Trailing by three, Jacob Yachty tied the game at 55 with 37 seconds left. The game came down to the final possession. Eric Freed has the call. Back with five, three on the shot clock, Holy pulls up, it's short, shot clock expires, tipped up and in, it's good, it's good, count it, Stony Brook wins, Dallas Joyner did it. Number two Vermont and number six Hartford squared off in the weekend's final game. The Hawks and Catamounts went back and forth in a game that featured 11 ties and 26 lead changes. Vermont's Sandro Carissimo hit a huge shot in double overtime. And Vermont heads to its seventh championship game since 2003 with a 77-73 win. The Stony Brook Vermont championship game tips off at 11.02 a.m. this Saturday on ESPN2.